$70 for two pounds of king crab legs. I don't know if I could forgive myself if I bought them, but my wife would be happy. <laughs> but you know I wouldn't be, but 70 bucks for two pounds all the way from Alaska. McCafe coffee, look at this. It's $40 for this. You get 72 in here. I mean, it's a McDonald's crap. That's a high price for that. 42 bucks for Folgers. That's not even a good name brand. Are we really the land of the free or are we debt slaves? Anyways, today, I'm in front of Sam's here and we're going to do some shopping. Did you see about the uh, the U.S. debt? It's going to hit $33 trillion. I think what it is, this this the 28th or something this month? I mean, holy smolies. 33, 33, I'm over here. $33 trillion, not a billion. And a trillion is a thousand billion. Holy cow. Anyways, that's going to hit, like I said, $33 trillion by the end of the month. And it's predicted to hit between 48 and, and you know and 50 trillion by 2030 i mean that's a lot of money that's a lot of debt we're gonna have to carry and you know who's gonna pay for that that's it's not gonna be the one percent it's gonna be us the working middle class that's just crazy anyways here we are at the sam's we're gonna head in we're gonna check prices see how we're getting screwed here let's have some fun well once i get into sam's here look what i see the Belvita Crunchy, 250 off. It's 10.48. Cinnamon brown sugar. Now this is a deal here, and this won't last through the weekend. I mean, it might last to the weekend, but uh, not really. <laughs> salt, sweet and salty, 9.78. That's not bad. I like this stuff. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Honey bunches of oats, 5.68. I like the sales everywhere I go in. Twinkies. I think they went to the moon, didn't they? Oh my gosh, they have the Halloween stuff. It's nice to see this. Look at the size of that dragon. Oh my gosh, that's the federal government coming after our taxes. He's going to slay us all right. How much is that guy? $189. I doubt he's tax free either. Let's check out all the Christmas stuff they have here. $169 for that big thing there. And that's the Grinch that stole the Christmas. I thought that was our government. <laughs> $169. $49 for what? I don't know. I don't think. Oh, it's those guys, the gnomes. I don't know what the big nutcracker guy is. He's not priced right. And um, this is really nice. I do like this. That's that's a nice thing right there. That, I don't know. I don't know about that, but look at the prices. Look at the truck right there. $39. Here's this goofy thing. It's I guess it's a box. $89 for that. $89. $119 for this. Frosty the Snowman, 129 but look at all these guys, crystal like that. I wonder how long that's going to last. Look at all the prices, 189 179 159 all the things. Holy cow. Christmas trees, 189 129 over there, and 199 These aren't bad compared to Costco. Not bad, but still, $200 for a tree like that. That's the Halloween stuff making that noise. There's the big dragon. They still have the Lay's on sale. $3.98 for these guys. 50 cents off, you get 15.58 ounces. How would someone come to 5 eighths? You couldn't just round it off to 16 ounces. They'd just short you almost a, a little less than half an ounce, three eighths of an ounce. Uh, I mean, what? A, it's r ridiculous. Regular $6.50. My goodness. And you know, another store, Publix, would charge you that $3.98 for the Ruffles. The Ruffles have ridges. Original. Oh, I love... No, it's wavy. This is wavy. Wavy lays, and these are Ruffles. They put them in the wrong spot. you got to watch that. This is what should be over here. And the Ruffles should be there. See, look at that. They mixed them up. <laughs> what do you expect? Funyuns, $4.48. They're in the wrong spot. Cheesters, cheese puffs. Look at this. Everything's in the wrong spot for the Funyuns. I can't even price anything right because they're all the wrong spot. There's the Funyuns. The Funyuns should be where the Chester fries are, but the Funyuns are $4.48. I guess everything is priced this way, right? <laughs> We're going to look at the coffee aisle, but it's kind of packed. But here's some here's some uh, coffee mate right here. Look at the size of this guy. It's $6.38. 793 servings, three and, a, three and a half pounds for that monster. Holy cow, the coffee mate. For people that use that in half and half. 1028 and I don't, I don't know what the scan and go I guess if you scan it and go with um, but it has these little half and half minis Lando Lakes and I believe that's Lando Lakes uh, Wisconsin right there 192 of the creamers right there you know the kind that when you go to the store you stop at the gas station you grab a handful for the trip yeah, that's what those are <laughs> but then they have the delights 
French vanilla creamer. I like hazelnut myself. Crushed boxes as usual here. How many you get in there? 192, 1228, or if you want to get the Land the Lakes regular, 1028 for those guys. Here's something I really like. Organic green tea, 160 count, 967 green tea, and I'm a tea guy. I should buy one of these, 100% organic, because I drink the black tea. And this looks really good. This isn't a bad price. 967 premium tea blenders since 1945. 100% organic. I'm going to buy one. Why not? I'm going to give this a shot. And uh, look at the crush boxes. Typical thing, but 967. I'm getting this guy. There you go. Good start. And I was I was told by my wife to get this almond chocolate biscotti because she claimed that I, I, I eat every one except three that she ate. And... Um, I'm, I'm going to plead innocent on it, which, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really guilty. <laughs> but so she told me to get a whole, uh, whole other one, but there's only 24 in there, so that means I eat 21 of them. I didn't think I did, but, uh, you know, look at that. These are really good, and, and, and they're really crummy as far as, you know, when they, you break them, they, uh, they break into crumbs, but uh, that's why you got to dip them in the milk or coffee. These are really good, 1048. She's going to be happy I got them, but you know what's going to happen? I'm going to eat all these guys <laughs> like I did before. <laughs> I can't help myself. Let's check some coffee here. Folgers Classic Roast. This looks like instant here, 1048. And Folgers Classic Decaf. I don't know why anybody drink decaf coffee, but it's kind of like regular Coke without the caffeine. Oh my gosh, you can't hold it. <laughs> $13.98. Here's some Folgers Classic, 43.05 ounces and um, $11.98. I like the containers they put it in. My wife would reuse those. Here's this Cafe Bustello. I don't know, I butchered the name. $16.94. And here's some of this is probably really strong coffee. Four pack, 10 ounces. They're vacuum sealed in here. $13.62. More Folgers Black Silk. 40 ounces French roast here members mark 1598 whole beans oh, these are whole beans in here dark roast oh I like that roasted aroma notes and high body <laughs> it's I don't think that's high of a price classic roast here in a can here uh, Arabica beans 1398 Columbia Supremo right here 1567 I don't know if these are good prices or not yeah, I'm someone. A lot of people have been asking to check the coffee. Pablo's Pride. <laughs> I like the looks of this. Thirteen seventy-eight. And what is that? Whatever the Starbucks here. Twenty-one. Okay, it's Starbucks. You're you're paying for the name right there. That's for sure. You're paying for the name, and then then Duncan paying for the name again. And my wife is a Duncan fan. She likes the donuts there. <laughs> I don't care for them, but I've never had the coffee. Now here's some of these Starbucks, uh, what are these, the little cups, right? $33.98, $6 off, uh, Pike Place Roast, trying to get that out. And here's some Sumatra Dark Roast, $6 off, $33.98, more Duncan for $40, bucks. 40 bucks. 72 of the guys, that's expensive. Oh, McCafe, oh jeez, McDonald's coffee, $39.48. And decaf McDonald's, you're paying for decaf 40 bucks. Holy cow! Donut shop $27, but this is kind of ridiculous stuff here. McCafe coffee, look at this. It's $40 for this. You get 72 in here. I mean, it's McDonald's crap. Let's look at some of the other stuff. Colombian Supreme 27, and you get a hundred single serving cups in there. French roast 27. I don't care for French roast. Breakfast blend members mark 100 count 27. I believe these are all the cups. A crowd pleaser collection. The, this isn't the crowd pleaser price though. 31.78. Cafe Bustello 37.88 for 80 cups. Folgers Black Silk again 42 dollars. My gosh, that's ridiculous. That's a high price for that. 42 bucks for Folgers. That's not even a good name brand. Holy cow, in Maxwell House. I've always, I've had Maxwell House when I used to drink coffee. It's not a bad coffee, $36. 100 of those cups. And I noticed something here, pink salmon four pack of the cans, $12.84. And I've had this before. This isn't bad here. Premium Wild Alaskan, pink salmon, almost one pound. I don't know why they can't make it an even pound. And they short you an ounce and a quarter, right? 14.75, but this is really good. But you're looking at what uh, three dollars a can right 
$12.84 for that. I bet it's good. I've had it before. The pink salmon. Then the albacore tuna wild caught solid white $12.98 in, in water here. Eight five ounce cans. Let me see if I can get one of these boxes out. Oh, there's the box. It's not that big of a box, is it, for $12? But you know, it's all jammed. They're jammed in there like sardines, the tuna. <laughs> $12.98. I bet it's good. Albacore is always good tuna. Then you have your spam here. Oh my gosh, maple. I don't know if I want maple flavored. Maple flavored. I guess it's kind of like bacon, right? I guess if you fry it in the pan, this is really popular in the Philippines. Spam is, but I first time I've ever seen maple flavor, and there's spam right there, twenty-two dollars. But you get, you get twice as much in here. And we sent a, a whole bunch of this in care boxes to the Philippines. Oh man, it's really heavy. No wonder the boxes were heavy. Twenty-two dollars and ten ninety-eight for that. But that's the first time I've seen maple flavored. And then we sent a bunch of these Vienna sausages also over to the Philippines. They're really popular down there. Vienna sausage, 18 cans. I used to take these camp, but when I was a kid, I don't know if you remember that, but I do. 12.62 for 18 of the guys. And they're usually a dollar each at Walmart. No, they have all the burgers here and they have something that's called Beyond Burger. And look at this, they just throw ice or just water in there. Beyond, oh, plant-based patties. Oh, jeez, look at that. They just look fake, don't they? Because they are $12.98 for that. I don't know about that. Grass-fed patties here. That's a little better, but the, the price, $23.98 for five pounds. Grass-fed and finished beef patties. That's not too bad for five pounds, right? Holy cow. And then over here, they have six pounds of Angus beef patties for $24.98. And, um, but you know what, look at them. See that? I mean, they look like they're just dried right out. But, I mean, if you're, that's all you're gonna, you're gonna get six pounds for that price. You get what you pay for, you know. Now, these little strip steaks, regular $19.48, $4.50 off, 12 slices, $14.91. Let's take a look at these things. So you get two pounds, 10 ounces. This looks better than the dried out steaks. Contains 20% solution of water, phosphate, salt, and dextrose. So, I mean, it doesn't look like there's a lot of bad ingredients in it, but, you know, for $14.91 for almost three pounds, that's not too bad. Ready to cook raw product. There you go. That doesn't look too bad for tacos or for, uh, you know, like uh, steak sandwiches right there. That looks really good. Let's check the cooking oil here. I know it's expensive. 30 salad oil, 35 pounds. Pounds? That looks like it's about five gallons, $35.00. Something is 61 peanut oil. Holy cow, peanut oil, $61. Holy smolies. Now here's some corn oil. This isn't too bad. $9.96 for this stuff here. 96 ounces. And now here's some stuff here. Canola oil, $12.48. $12.48 for this. Did you see the price of that at uh, Costco? That stuff was $44.99. I think it was a little bit bigger, but that's a lot better price right there. They still have the 10 pack of Heinz ketchup, three pack, 44 ounces. And I do like Heinz, 10.98 for that. You can't find that anywhere, no way. One of these would be 6.98 at Walmart. Just one of them, that's a really good price on that. But one thing I don't think is a good price are these two mustards right here for 6.48. Just because they're French is, uh, I don't, I just, I think that's, I think this is double the price. You can go to Walmart. See, it's amazing that you can go to Walmart and get mustard like this it's name brand for a couple bucks but you pay a lot for the the ketchup so it's kind of odd and that's that's way too high i believe for for just yellow mustard now this is a good price for some olives two pack 21 ounces manzilla <laughs> look at that i like the name manzilla but look at the look at the olives right here these look good so you're talking about four bucks each because olives aren't cheap they look really good. They're really nice size. They'd be good in the salad, good in your spaghetti. $7.98. That's really good there. And this barbecue sauce, Sunny's, which I really like, is five pounds. I remember when this was four dollars and four, it's five pounds. Five pounds, four ounces was four dollars and forty-four cents at one time about three years ago. Not anymore. And look at sweet baby rays, 160 ounces for this big bad boy. Look at the size of this guy. Holy cow. Look at that. It's a gallon. A gallon for $12.18. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. A lot. I know a friend of mine at work really likes uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. I like it too. But the price, I mean, I think that's okay for you. get a whole gallon for Pete's sake. 
and Sunny's, that's my favorite above all. 748, but it's gone way up. They do have Atlantic cod, which I like, and I told my wife I want to get some cod, but I want fresh. 1798, you get two pounds, so that makes them nine dollars a pound. Wild caught, I like that. And these are look at that. See, cod's always really flaky like this. I really love cod. Love it broiled too, and that's what they did with it. Nine dollars a pound. It's individually wrapped, vacuum sealed. That's a good price. That's about the best you're going to get for cod. And I'm going to check the fresh cod out, see if they have any. Two pounds, seventeen ninety-eight ahi tuna, sixteen forty-eight for two pounds. Two pounds of ahi tuna, center cut, skinless, boneless. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. Oh, I'm glad my wife isn't with me today. <laughs> She'd be saying, "Aha, tuna." 1648 that's a good price I think and the um, the hot dogs are on sale classic meat Franks 548 for the guys holy smolies look at that look at all those guys five dollars and 48 cents you just can't beat that I know there's sodium nitrate in it and I've eaten probably thousands of these guys and then you have the beef Franks here the ballpark beef Franks 748 for the guys oh my gosh then we're getting into the bacon again, and that's not a good price. $24.98. It's still $24.98 for four pounds of the stuff. $24.98. But I see right here 10 pounds of the restaurant-style bacon. First time I've seen this. $54.98 for the big guy. Holy cow, restaurant-style bacon. I like that, but who's going to eat 10 pounds of bacon? <laughs> that means it's five forty, five dollars uh, $5.49. It's five fifty a pound. How's that? <laughs> there you go. Restaurant style. I like it. If you got a big family, I mean a really big family, there you go. They don't have a lot of fish here that's fresh. Just the steelhead trout skin on. $8.98 a pound, $25. Dahi tuna, $10.98. Wild caught, though. A, a 1998 so this isn't too bad $24 I like how they wrap it though and then great catch and <laughs> a great catch I said that it's oh, it's wild caught snapper fillets wild caught it is a great catch and here's the cod I was talking about and I see it right here is $8.98 a pound really fresh look at that that's a lot of cod right there almost three pounds of cod for 25 bucks look at the guy oh look at that that looks really good I like this. Mm, my goodness, I'm getting hungry here. Twenty-two dollars. That's some really thick-looking cod. Oh, look at that. Oh, that would cook up really good, wouldn't it? Eight ninety-eight a pound in the sockeye. The sockeye is always wild caught because it's so red. And this is a natural color. It's not color added added like that. Ten ninety-eight a pound, and this is really good too. And I like it with the skin on. I like to crisp it up. Ten ninety-eight a pound. Not too bad. And they have the snow crab legs, $21.98 for two pounds. They used to be $24.98. Holy cooked. There's a lot of ice on them too. There's a lot of ice on the guys for that price. But but they used to be a lot more, so that's $11 a pound for the king or for the snow crab legs. Now the king crab legs are $69.98 for two pounds. And they're of course they're wild. Look at the size of them. They're over two feet long super colossal the price is super colossal $69 fully cooked my gosh they include scampi butter that's oh I tell you I, I hate to spend $70 but I wouldn't mind trying it just one time but I don't know if I could forgive myself for paying 70 bucks for that I don't know about it $70 for two pounds of king crab legs I don't know if I could forgive myself if I bought them but my wife would be happy <laughs> but you know I wouldn't be but 70 bucks for two pounds all the way from Alaska let's check some of their cheese prices mild cheddar 698 right here and you get you get slices in here and it's real it's not that fake crap that I used to eat for 698 regular 798 Monterey Jack, they're all the same price, $6.98 for two pounds. That's pretty good. I mean, I have to admit, in this high of inflation time, oven roasted turkey, $8.94 for how much? You get a little over a pound, a pound six ounces. That looks good too. Uh, let me see, no artificial flavors, no nitrite. So there's no sodium nitrite in that. I like that. Chicken, buffalo style chicken breast here, $8.94. And uh, same thing, no no nitrates in it. That's really good. I like I like to see that. That actually looks really good. I like that. And seasoned Angus beef, 
And, you know, I like ribeyes, but I don't know if I like it like this. I mean, it might be good in the sub if you heat it up and put cheese on it, but but right here, what is it? The one pound, six ounces, twelve seventy eight. Of course, beef is going to be more expensive. It's Angus. That's what you're paying for. Here's something I like. Quarter sliced smoked ham, 448, 2.4 pounds. And let's see, I hope it doesn't have nitrates in it. Doesn't look too bad, and I bet it has sodium nitrate in it, but look at the price, 717, it's 448 a pound, and I bet it's got, yep, the last ingredient, sodium nitrate, so I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. Other than that, I would've got it. And 348 per pound for this stuff, and it says sodium nitrate in it, so I'm, I'm just not gonna get it. I'm trying to stay away from that stuff, but that's 348 a pound, not a package. Same with that, 448 a pound, not a package. Let me give you some advice. Don't come to Sam's or Costco when you're hungry like me because there's some really good snacks right here. And I'm looking right at them. French butter cookies, $12.98. And they come in this fancy dancy tin that my wife would like. Product of France. I wonder how long, how long these have been sitting here. But uh, there's all kinds of Christmas goodies here. Mini brownie bites. Look at these mandolins. Oh my gosh, these dipped in milk are just fantastic. See those little tiny... Uh, dimples in them they hold the milk <laughs> I like those guys I shouldn't have came here mini cinnamon rolls right here 848 oh my gosh dipped in milk or a little bit of maple syrup on there oh those would be fantastic and it says no trans fats I don't really care <laughs> best served warm apple fritters my favorite everything's my favorite granola 998 apple fritters were 798 the cinnamon rolls were 848 They've got all kinds of goodies here. I can't believe they did this to me. Look at, I'm in Muffin Town. Oh, wow, look at these guys. Cornbread, too. My gosh. I should not have come here. They're authentic. <laughs> look at the Jumbo Pumpkins. They're $6.98 for the guys. These are monsters. $6.98 for these big guys. Holy cow. I remember as a kid, we don't do it anymore, but growing up, it was a great day. You'd cut the pumpkin out, then you'd carve it. I was never good at carving a pumpkin, but what we would do is we'd uh, clean the seeds and put them in the oven and roast them and put salt on them. That's when I was a kid and they were just so delicious. I remember those times, but hear that? Good pumpkin, $6.98 for the guys. They got a lot of them. We always buy our Dawn here and you get 90 ounces, 11, 88. And a lot of times we'll get this on sale. This Dawn, really good stuff. It goes a long, long way. And then they have the off brand which is the members mark for $8.98. And you get a lot too, holy smolies, $8.98. I tell you, you could save some money by coming to Sam's. I know the membership is, I think it's $50, but still we pay it and we do well here. I really like it. I, I couldn't imagine not having a Sam's membership. I know some people can't afford it, but if you can get in with two people or three people in the community and come in here and share it and everybody go shopping, it's a deal. And now here are the different tides, and this is what we buy here, 100, 152 loads, $24.98, and a lot of people are buying this. And it's a big container, because my wife buys this all the time. She doesn't buy the crushed ones. Oh, look at it, it's dripping. Look at it, it's dripping all over the place. Oh my gosh, that's what you get. <laughs> this is what you get when they put the pallets in here like that. I didn't do it, honest. Here's the smaller one of tide. I don't know if I want to pick it up. 110 loads for 1998. I didn't do that. <laughs> and look at the fabric softener. Two dollars off. Snuggle. It really smells good. 998 for this guy right here with the little tiny teddy bear on there. The blue sparkle. And here's the off-brand fabric softener. 197 loads. 1040. And everybody goes after this one. But my wife buys Downey. Of course, she always picks the most expensive thing. Not that for ten. Not not for nine. Not for ten. But thirteen. She buys the Downey right here. Of course, everything smells really good. The sheets and all my clothes. I think she uses. I think my wife puts in two cupfuls of it. I think she does. We go through this a lot. <laughs> Thirteen ninety-seven. So Sam's is kind of like a Home Depot and a Walmart combined. They sell toilet seats. Wycliffe. It's a Delta. $24.98 and the entire high efficiency dual flusher toilet right there $109 in a little giant ladder right here holds up to 300 pounds $149 for the guy right there they sell everything here from toilet seats to toilets to ladders they got it all okay, okay you can do it now smash that button oh no no wrong I can't get it
you want to say smash the like button, okay? Can you say it, hon? We can try it. Smash the like button. Excellent. Thanks, hon. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. That was my quick trip into Sam's here. I had to get the uh, the green tea. I had to get the biscotti that I was accused of eating, which I actually did eat them all, <laughs> other than three. Anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.